Hello everybody, this is Also House Gaming, and welcome to our new series, Dredge, the Eldritch Horror Fishing Game. A very simple concept that, uh, well, as with many things, is turned on its head with the introduction of the Eldritch. I have played this game before, haven't beaten it, though I aim to change that, especially considering the new DLCs came out for it. Uh, apparently Iron Rig came out a while ago, but I hadn't noticed. And I figured, you know what? I played Dave the Diver, and if you'll recall, there was a Dredge collaboration DLC for it, where you actually dove down and caught aberrant fish to feed to hooded figures in exchange for vast amounts of gold. I don't think we'll be quite making the fortune we did in Dave the Diver with this, but we'll be making a fair amount of money. Heck, we have to to survive what's coming. I'm just going to delete this because that was just for the audio testing. And as it is with the start of any new series, if anything is too loud or too quiet, please let me know down in the comments section. I will do what I can to fix it, but bear in mind... I do batch record all of my recordings, so I'm not going to be able to do anything about it right away as soon as I see it. Just letting you know that. And let us begin. Job listing. Angler wanted. Well, we certainly seem the angler type. Uh, maybe we should weigh anchor with this fog being this thick. Or not. morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. And nobody bothered to try and bring us in. Guess they assumed we were some sort of corpse. The short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Now, well, welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman is upright and breathing. Uh, your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll later catch up to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of there to catch some fish. Uh, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Uh, finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on ya. Right, well let's take a look at our boat. Not a whole lot of space. It might seem like a lot, but it is not. All we've got is one peculiar engine. Someone's tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. Right, we're not going to be moving very fast with this. And basic fishing pole. Splintered and fragile, this rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fish. Yeah, it can only catch coastal. Uh, there are going to be a wide variety of, um, how do I put this? In excuse me, environments to catch fish in. And we're going to need some special equipment if we're going to catch them all. And fortunately, this fishing rod can only handle, well, coastal fish, so we're not going to be catching a whole lot. We also have a cabin where we have a map. Shows us the various areas. There's also a mysterious one up north. Interesting. We're currently in the Marrows, the center area, but something tells me we're going to be getting to all of these places. We have messages, which we have found nothing. Encyclopedia, basically telling us where we can catch all of these various things, including something called aberrations. Interesting. And pursuits, which is basically our goals. There's the pale reach on the iron rig, which we have not reached and probably won't for quite a while. Fresh start, catch fish for that day. Met the mayor of Greater Marrow who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Warned me to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about the fog. 
the dramatic. Considering how you came to this place and crashed because of the fog, maybe take it a little more seriously. Anyways, not a whole lot we can really do. Now, you move with the left stick, assuming you're on controller. Adjust the camera with the right stick. Just gotta do this to get it out of the way. Move to fishing spot. Look for splashes on the surface, then press A to start fishing. And we have fishing mini games. They vary depending on where you are and what kind of fishing you're doing. This is the most basic of ones. And you might notice there's a stock. That's how many fish there are. We're obviously not given an exact number, so we're just gonna catch as many as we can. And now we have to manage our inventory. Basically, we gotta Tetris the fish into place. Make them fit, otherwise you can't take it, and then you just wasted your time. Which, I should note, time only moves when you are moving, fishing, or taking specific actions. Alright, now, for the fish, you have size type of fish, in this case the blue mackerel is coastal, and condition. Fish go from fresh to stale to, I believe, rotting, and then they just rot away into, well, worthless pile of flesh. So, yeah, you don't get as much money, because obviously we're going to be selling these for money, uh, when they are fresh. And the bigger they are, well, that adds on to it. Now then, that area over there, I know for a fact is not coastal. I know that from the, uh, audio testing. Oh, also, there are various things you can run into that you can inspect from your boat. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Always this gloom of the night stuff. Also, I accidentally turned on the... And, yeah. Or I accidentally turned on the light. But, yeah, we just got a cod, which, yeah, very different shape. Stuck in that L shape that it refuses to come out of. Uh, the more valuable the fish, the odder the shape it is. And the more difficulty you're going to have in managing your inventory with it. Really makes you consider what you want to keep and what you want to throw back to the ocean. For now, it's going to be pretty simple, but that's going to change very quickly. Not a whole lot of cod from this, and unfortunately, I know for a fact there isn't a whole lot else we can catch. So, at this point, we may as well just head back to Greater Marrow and sell our uh, stock while it's still fresh. Boy, we are moving slow. I know for a fact we can go way faster than this. But we're not going to be able to do that just yet. You step onto the dock at Greater Mare. The mare is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. I'm sure I'm not going to regret this voice. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on your hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want you to make this but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied, understand? Yeah, with the boat in the condition it is, and our lackluster engines, we're not going to be going that far out, so... We're just going to be selling here anyways. Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Alright, we go to the fishmonger. We went to a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Hmm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the old one, or other one? He takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands may pay different. 
Well, you've still got a debt outstanding here. I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you got. Yep, all very fresh. We can sell them off for a tidy sum of $104.16. Not bad. Though we lose $15.62 for the uh, debt. Mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure if someone like you can make use of something out of it, why don't you take it? A research partner, a curious looking component, could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Let's send it to storage so it's not taking up valuable inventory space. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. I don't see why not. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures toward the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around, and remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Alrighty then. Well, we got this bigger rod we could take for the shallows. But unfortunately, it costs too much. Better to go for the simple skimmer, 75 bucks, that's basically all our money. We could also try and buy some rusty outboard engines, but they don't really add all that much to our ship. Yeah. Also, bear in mind that equipment can only be installed in certain slots. For example, the fishing rods can only be installed where there are those fish hooks. Engines can only be installed wherever there are those fans. Trawl nets, well, we don't have space for that. And lamps can only be installed where there is a light bulb. And bear in mind that this also eats up inventory space. Meaning, uh, whenever, wherever you place something, you can't place a fish anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get the simple skimmer. Install it. And now we can start doing shallows. Or start fishing in shallows. Uh, also, that research part, we can put it to other things. We could put it to unlocking the hydraulic rod uh, for oceanic fishing, but we don't really have the space for that. And we kind of need the shallows for now. There is this right here. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic. All in one, admittedly, very big rod. But getting that would get us a lot of stuff. There's also this one, and then there's this stuff. Abyssal and Haddle. Yeah, we're going to want to invest in some of this, but we can't get this yet. I think we're actually going to want to invest in the engine... Yeah, we're going to want to invest in the engine. Now, bear in mind, this doesn't mean we have it immediately. It means we can buy them in stores. So the ship right now has that. Yeah. Improved outboard engine. But that's going to cost us 200 bucks. But if we can get one of those, we can increase our speed by a lot. 15 knots might not seem like it, but combine it with the peculiar engine, which is just one point under. And, well... It'll increase our speed by a lot. Now, that damage she was talking about. Yes, we can get damaged by hitting rocks or other things. And as our sh our ship as it is uh, can only take two hits before a third hit would kill us. So be careful. Alrighty then. Unfortunately, we still don't have a light, so I would not recommend us going out at night. So, we're going to rest until dawn. There's a crazy red beam of light in the background at night, appears. I'm sure it's nothing. Anyways, we're going to undock. And our big pursuit right now is paying off our debt. 
Well, it's technically not a pursuit, but it is something we have to do if we want to progress. So, let's get out here and see if we can't fish in some of the shallows. Get some more valuable fish, because, uh... The deeper the ocean, the more valuable the fish, and thus, the more money we can get from it. Doing that. Alright, Gulf Flounder. Takes up a lot more space, but could be more valuable. Gotta keep fishing. Ooh. That yellow one, that is a trophy fish. It is worth a lot. So. I recommend that if you see that golden spot, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I got some space for one more. Let's see if we can't find something else to fill our boat with. You know, want to try and fill as much space as we can before going off. Actually, I can place that down here. And much as I would want to keep going for blue mackerel, I think we're better off going for what I think is some cod over here. Yep. More space efficient, more money. Assuming I can catch them. Ah, keep hitting it too early. And I think we got enough space for a mackerel. Yes, I realize I'm still hitting some coastal stuff, though I can now go for shallows. But, well, it's just kind of the more space efficient thing to do right now. Alright, day is almost over on day two. Let's head back, sell our stock of fish before it goes bad. Hmm. I had a special order to come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Okay, tell me about it. Ask for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. And just bring them when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. Shipwright should be able to start that for you. You got any fish for that order? Yes, actually. How convenient that we have a gulf flounder. Alright, come back when you have everything. Not a regular business, eh? Yeah, I'm not using the trophy fish for that, which sells for a fair bit more than a regular... All right, an extra hundred bucks. Uh, do I, do I want to buy a light? I mean, yeah, I do, but I may as well save and try to get the best available. Yeah, twenty meter range is a lot better. Plus, I do also want to get the improved outboard engine. Yeah, we're gonna rest until dawn again. Well, I could go out. Probably not a good idea to do so until I got a light. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Oh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. <sighs> There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She huffs and tur she turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. Uh, just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east toward Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped mess of shapes. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> May I add you a small, damp pack? Mm, sorry about that. Still suffering from my allergies. Though they are getting better. Your man hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it spoiled. 
I don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. I know where it is I need to go. It's not that difficult. And we've almost got our debt paid off. And while we're out there, we could catch some of the eels. Though we should probably take care of the delivery first. It's gonna eat up our time with how slow we go. Ugh. Okay, forget the light. Next thing we're gonna buy is that out uh, improved outboard motor or engine. Let's see, there's some more flounder there. <laughs> hmm? What? A delivery? Uh, let's see here. There's a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. I can't fit say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I have to pay you, I suppose? He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Yeah, keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Well, we just got our first book. We're going to have to set this to reading, and whenever time passes, uh, we'll get more progress on that until eventually it reaches 100%, and we gain... A, uh, a new perk, so to speak. Oh, also, at Greater or Little Marrow, we have the trader to whom we can sell things that aren't fish, but we find out in the ocean. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Ah. Hello, is that... No, I don't believe we've met... Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Nope. Okay, then we got some flounder here. But I believe we want to head over to the rocks if we want to catch some eel. Ooh, trophy. Oh, and the trophy is just an instant catch. And I think we're actually going to want to stop there with that, because I realize that the eels, I believe, are going to have an elongated shape to them. And no, that pun was not intentional. Ah, uh, this one is slightly different. The meter, I guess you could call it, will have... <clears throat> we'll jump between the two as you successfully, yeah, just successfully hit the reeling spots. And this has been depleted. Ooh, thought I saw something sparkling over here. Yes, I did. Lighthouse towers above, waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You pawn the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? <clears throat> How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? Lighthouse towers above. Alrighty then. It looks like a storm is kicking up. Eh, not really too much of a problem for us. I know we didn't catch a lot, but hopefully what we've got will be enough cash for us to get that new motor. Because if we can move quicker, we can get more done in the day. Got any fish for that order? Yes, I do. Ooh hoo Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good. Good. I should be pleased with these. <sighs> Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. Want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night and... Well, you know what lights, nights are like around here. Good luck. Actually, I don't because I haven't been out for night fishing yet. Still got some of that debt. Alright. 
yeah, I'm gonna get the new outboard motor. Alrighty then. Now, you'll note you cannot sell the peculiar engine. I'm assuming that's because it's meant to be a, uh, fallback in case you somehow accidentally sell everything else. That way you'll still have an engine. Now, much as I would like to go fishing at night, we don't have a light to be able to see, so... Yeah. But oh yeah, you can take a look at the encyclopedia, see where and how you can catch some things. And what time. Let's see, two arrow squid and a black grouper. I don't know where to catch a black grouper. Alright, and now we should see a marked difference. Oh yeah, we're definitely moving faster. Not by a whole lot, but we are moving faster. Alright, let's focus on some of the more valuable fish. No, oh, that was depleted fast. Yeah, unfortunately, I believe, yeah, these guys require oceanic rods. Yep. Not gonna be getting that for a while, but we do have this over here, what looks to be a bottle. Yeah, nope. Nope. There we go. August 20th, 1927. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon. And our first day proper. Today we're sailing... Around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers are colorful and so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. You renamed the boat last night Julie. You did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think you took that more seriously than the wedding. Uh, supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. You wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain Ocean Riches. Or Ocean Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love him when he tries to be romantic. Ugh, something tells me things did not go well for our couple. Because she kept those... Uh, kept the, uh... Keychain. Because usually those types of rituals are... <laughs> very important to follow. At least in a uh, setting like this. Alright, seeing as how the gray eels got uh, depleted very quickly, let's catch some grouper. Grouper? No, gulf flounder. Grouper is what we need to catch for the order. Mm -hmm. Don't have the space for some more flounder. But if there's some cod around, we got space for that. Ooh, and we can get a trophy. I believe you only get one shot at hitting that golden spot. And we're lacking space for anything else. Yeah, that's gonna be happening a lot. Uh, hmm. Nope, no matter what I do, I only got space for one. Well, hopefully that will be enough for us to be able to purchase the better light. So that way we can go out at night. That should take care of our debt. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. Somehow I doubt that. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. 
I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. I might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. I'm glad you've chosen to be here with us. Now, while I could go over that, we are actually out of time, so I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.